Welcome to the module on uh, basics of concrete. Today, uh, in this module, we will be discussing about how to estimate the size of the curing tank, which is uh, one of the major uh, requirement in order to make sure that uh, your implementation of uh, the quality management system and the assurance uh, for uh, the quality of the concrete which is being produced in the batching plant is achieved. Let us uh, start with the definition of uh, curing because this is the purpose of uh, developing the cube molds whether the curing is done perfect or not and then if the curing is done then what could be the strength of the concrete which is being achieved or uh, for the members being poured by that particular concrete because this is basically a verification test in order to make sure that the concrete being produced from the batching plant, if it is say M20 or M30 grade of concrete is being produced from the batching plant, then it should have FCK plus three as the compressive strength, the characteristic compressive strength at 28 days, at 28 days strength provided the curing of the concrete is effective and efficient in the project. So curing is basically a process of controlling the rate and extent of moisture loss from the concrete during the cement hydrations. So the effectiveness of the curing depends upon how effective your system is in order to make sure that your moisture loss from the concrete is being uh, controlled and uh, maintained in the project. Especially for uh, doing these things, what we do is for each concrete being poured, we collect a number of cubes and those cubes were placed in a curing tank for a period of say one day, three days, 14 days, seven days or 28 days depending upon the requirement. And that tank is filled with water to make sure that the concrete cubes are cured effectively and efficiently. So that by checking the strength of uh, that particular cube, we can ensure that the concrete which is being produced from the batching plant is equal or is meeting the requirements specified in IS 456 as far as uh, the defining of grade of concrete is concerned. So we take this as a replenish of uh, water with immersion because this is the typical uh, curing tank uh, which is utilized in order to make sure that the cubes which are being cast at site are being cured for a period of one day, three days, seven days, 14 days or 28 days as per the need and the requirement of the project. And this method of curing is effective enough because throughout the period of curing, the cubes are immersed in water and there is no scope that the water, the cubes are not being cured. So this is 100% and effective curing of concrete uh, as far as the cubes are concerned. And this is the arrangement uh, which requires a calculation keeping in view that the amount of concrete which is being planned in the project to complete the work in time. So depending upon the amount of uh, concrete being poured in a day, the production or the number of cubes, the arrangement for the storage of number of cubes is required in the project. So that is the reason why this module has been taken up in this particular way in order to make sure that in the beginning of the project only, you should be able to define what should be the requirement as far as the curing arrangement is concerned, whether you should go for a single tank, multiple tanks, or what should be the dimension of the curing tank which is required. So this module will help you to estimate the size of the tank, the number of tanks which can be required depending upon the land availability and also it will give you an indication of what should be the number of cubes moles required in the project. Today we will be discussing about how to calculate the size of a curing tank in the project because curing tank is uh, one of the critical items in the project uh, in order to understand that uh, depending upon the concrete quantity poured in a day, the number of uh, cubes will be generated and uh, the number of cubes required to be cured for uh, different duration of times like seven days, 
one days, three days, and uh, 28 days, or sometimes even 14 days. So, uh, if you see IS uh, 456, we have a requirement like for each one to five cubic meters of uh, concrete being poured, uh, the number of samples uh, required to be cast is one. And uh, for 6 to 15, it is two. For 16 to 30 cubic meters of concrete, uh, we need to cast three samples of uh, three sets of uh, cubes or three samples of uh, cubes to test and for a quantity of 31 to 50 you need four samples and above 50 for each 50 cubic meters we need to add one sample over and above the four samples that means for 51 to 100 you need five samples that is four plus one for 101 to 150 cubic meters of concrete we need to add uh, two samples that is four plus two and uh, for 151 to 200 we need to add three samples that is four plus three so so, uh, so far and so on like for 850 cubic meters to 900 cubic meters of concrete we need to add uh, 11 samples uh, with uh, four samples that is four plus 11 is 15 samples so these are the samples which are required as per is 456 and these needs to be tested on 28 days of compressive strength so in case you require to test the cubes earlier than the 28 days strength required then you need to add extra samples for the formation of cubes or for generation of cubes that means if you require to test the concrete strength at seven days also that means uh, for 0 to 1 you need to again add one sample for seven days uh, one sample for seven days okay this is the seven days uh, test requirement and if you require three days also then you need to add one more sample uh, for three days and if you need one day sample then you need to add again one day uh, strength requirement you need to add one more samples so likewise you will get a total number of uh, cubes uh, to be casted when your concrete quantity is 0 to 5 that means a total number of samples required to cast for a concrete quantity of 0 to uh, 1 to 5 will be 4 samples similarly for other tests also it needs to be calculated so that means this is a number which is a variable and depending upon the type of the project depending upon the concreting poured these values will change and when we say samples that we four samples means for each sample you require three cubes okay that is for each sample you have to cast three cubes okay so the total number of cubes required total number of cubes will be somewhere around number of samples multiplied by the number of cubes in each sample that means 12 so likewise if you are able to understand that how do we calculate the number of cubes required in a particular project you have to calculate like this correct now this uh, has to be a constant this cannot be a variable item okay so it has to be completely three so for each sample you are saying that for each sample means we need three set of cubes the average of three cubes will form a sample so this is what is the number of cubes how do you calculate the number of cubes now depending upon the number of cubes to be cast in a project you need to identify the storage area or you need to identify the area which is required for curing of those uh, samples now how do we do that like for example if uh, you require to pour a quantity of say for in this example you have taken 300 cubic meters of concrete being poured the average quantity of concrete being poured in the concrete is 300 cubic meters now for 300 cubic meters suppose you have taken the complete 300 cubic meters in one shift or it is being distributed in two shifts like say 150 cubic meters in uh, shift one and another 150 cubic meters in shift two then what is happening is if you have the requirement of uh, casting cubes for one day, three days, and seven days, like for example, in this case, we have taken all these cases as one, 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 then you will be calculating these things in the formula here. 
and when you say it is 150 cubic meters, that means the 28 days sampling required for 150 cubic meters is six samples. So if you see here in this particular example, that is from 101 to 150, if your concrete quantity is, then you will be probably casting six number of samples to satisfy the IS requirement. So that means the total number of samples required considering one day, three days, seven day and 28 days is nine samples and a number of cubes casted per day will be nine into three, which is 27, 27 number of cubes. Okay. So number of cubes cast per cycle of seven days and 28 days, if you see number of cubes cast per cycle of 7 days and 28 days. That means why we are saying 7 days and 28 days because if you are checking for a 7 day strength, then the number of cubes which is being casted for 7 days will be remaining in the storage time for 7 number of days. That means 7 into 3, you will be accumulating 21 number of uh, cubes in the curing tank till the first testing of the 7 day strength starts. The moment uh, you start the 7 day strength, Every day you will take out uh, three cubes and every day you will add three more cubes as an additional uh, testing. So it will be always for seven days strength for a quantity of 300 cubic meters, you will always have a 21 number of cubes available for testing. If at all you are taking it for one sample. If the number of samples for seven days you require is two at any point of time, then probably you will be having uh, 42 number of cubes, which is marked in yellow here, 42 number of cubes always available at any point of time in the curing tank. Similarly, if it is a one day test, whatever is being casted today will be tested tomorrow. So at any point of time, if the number of samples is one, the number of cubes available in the curing tank corresponding to one day test will be always three. And similarly for three days test, it will be a storage of three days. So three into three is nine. Uh, but if it is number of samples required, you required is two, then probably you will require at any point of time, 18 number of cubes available for the three day test to be conducted. So in this particular example, basically we have taken one, one uh, samples for one day, three days and seven days. So we have a storage uh, quantity required for both the shifts, including both the shifts is three for one day, nine for three days and 21 for seven days in each shift. And when we say the total, it is the total is 66 number of cubes. That means under the seven days category testing point, at any point of time, you have 66 number of cubes available in the curing tank. So this is the area required in the curing tank in order to make sure that this number of cubes can be cured in the curing tank. Now, if you take the dimension of the curing uh, cube size as 150 by 150 millimeters with a tolerance, uh, I leave it to you, like it can be a 20 millimeter tolerance on all sides of the cubes or a 50 millimeter tolerance on all sides of the cubes. So what is happening is you will get an idea like what will be the area being calculated in terms of meters and what will be the area, what will be the length being calculated in terms of the width. So what is being done is length required in a curing tank for storing the cubes of one days, three days and seven days will be four meters and the length required in the curing tank for 28 days cubes to be stored in the curing tank is 57 meters. So similarly, the width is also being calculated, both are equal because the dimensions on length and uh, width direction is 150 by 150 millimeters. So we have the equal number of uh, length and equal number of meters. That means the cross-sectional area required for one day, three days and seven days strength storage of cubes is four by four, which is 16, uh, 16 square meter area. And similarly, 28 days per strength requirement, 28 days uh, cubes uh, storage area requirement will be 57 by 57. So the total area required to store the number of cubes will be around 3277. Approximately 3277 is the area required. Now, suppose you have planned to take up three number of uh, 
curing tanks or two number of curing tanks which is again a user choice if i use one number of curing tank the size of the curing tank will be 131 meters in length 25 meters in width and 0.7 meters in height and if i want to say i would like to have a two number of curing tanks that means your length will be 66 meters and the width will be again 25 meters now the number of curing tanks and any one dimension in the curing tank is again user can choose depending upon the availability of the land in the project so in this particular example i have considered the width to be as say 25 meters so if the number of curing tanks i can provide is 2 and the width of each curing tank i can use is 25 meters now to cater the 3277 square meters of the area being occupied by the number of cubes casted in the project at any point of time that is 28 days a requirement the length and the width of the curing tank will be 66 meters by 25 meters now coming to the height at we can choose how many number of layers you want to store in the cubes like for example if i want to store in three layers like as given here if i want to store in three layers then the height requirement will be 0.7 why 0.7 because i want to keep a clearance which is a bottom or a top clearance of 250 mm that is required because if you say three layers three layers into the height of 150 mm is 450 mm 450 mm plus you need to have a water cushion of 150 mm so 450 plus 150 is 600 and over the, over and above that you can have a free board of 100 mm so the total height of the masonry wall which you want to construct can be close to 0.7 meters so but if at all you want to have the layers number of layers as 2 then your height will be changing and also the other dimensions also will change because it will affect the other dimensions also in terms of length and width so in this particular example i have taken a uh, number of layers as 3 uh, because generally we keep all the three cubes of seven days at one place so that it will be easy to take out the material for testing and uh, use it for other purposes so this is how basically you can calculate or you can estimate the dimensions of the curing tank required in the project in order to make sure that whatever the concrete is being poured will be stored properly for example if you have a average daily concreting of 500 cubic meters of concrete with say around 250 on the first shift and 250 on the other shift then probably you will require a more number of tanks so uh, let me say we have a three number of tanks or four number of tanks and i have kept my width generally ranging between 20 to 25 meters is good enough uh, to construct so if i have a four number of curing tanks uh, each having a width of uh, 25 meters then the dimension will change to 58 meters by 28.5 meters uh, cross sectional area which is excluding the wall thickness of the curing tank so this is how you can calculate or you can estimate before the start of the project because before the start of the project uh, depending upon the tag time depending upon the rate of pour required in order to complete the project you will be having this quantity in hand which is what should be your concrete uh, pouring quantity in a day the average quantity in a day so by knowing that you will be able to identify what is the dimension of the curing tank which is required to be placed in the project the second advantage is with this exercise you will be able to identify the number of cubes required number of cube moles required in the project because if you see the ith column which is again i could show you in the yellow marking or i will let me change the color to say around dark blue no dark blue is already there so let me change it to green okay so you have number of uh, cubes casted per day is around uh, 33 plus 33 which is 66 so considering the per day consumption of cubes as 66 
whatever is being casted today will be transported tomorrow to the site and uh, it has to be again uh, removed the dismantling and uh, again refixing of cube molds and ready for use for the second set of uh, uh, second set of uh, concreting activities i have taken one day for preparing one day for transportation so at least maximum 3 days so that means whatever the number of cubes required to be casted in a day multiplied by 3 will give you the number of uh, cube moles required in the project suppose if you feel that it is on a higher side you can always put a 2.5 but not less than 2 because whatever is being casted today cannot be used again tomorrow because after 24 hours the cube needs to be shifted to the laboratory then you need to demold the cubes you take out the cube and then again you have to clean the cube molds after cleaning the cube molds again you need to fix it check it for the dimensions check it for the alignments so all these things will take at least uh, another 20 24 hours so keeping that in mind one day for storage one day for shifting one day for preparation so around 2 to 2 and 1/2 days or 2 and 1/2 to 3 days is good enough to understand the requirement of the cube molds so if you have a planning if you have a planning of doing 500 cubic meters of concrete per day then probably you will require 165 number of cube molds in the project in order to make sure that each and every pore can be captured in terms of casting of uh, cubes in terms of casting of cubes based on the is 456 uh, uh, sampling requirements the best part is IS 456 gives you the sampling requirement for 28 days till so if you have other required additional requirements like you want to deshutter a particular segment then probably you will require early strength to do that particular activity which is in terms of say one day or 16 hours or depending upon the requirement of the project you can change those things in the top left hand corner where i have given in general it is for one day three days and seven days but you can change the values depending upon the requirement and the number of samples you want to take and probably you will get an idea of the number of cubes generated in that particular activity and the total number of cube moles required for that particular work so this is how uh, i can brief you like uh, how the estimation of uh, curing tank is done the idea behind is at any point of time if you see this is the area shaded is 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 showing you the number of cubes available in 7 days strength so at any point of time in the project for 7 days strength this is the maximum area being covered in the project for 7 days strength and when you talk about 28 days strength it is the area which is being shown here like the idea is the moment you come to the 8th day of uh, casting of cubes your first day will become blank and your day one uh, is being tested so it is become blank and whatever is being casted in this particular area if you cover it on the eighth day sorry i have taken a wrong color i uh, let me take it again back to the gray color uh, which is originally there okay so the moment it is being filled up this area will be out for testing so this is how the shift on the whole month will be there like for each day this is will be moving like this and you will have a moment like this so you can do two things you can have a separate tank for one day, seven days test one day test and then you can mark it but keeping the area same the area will remain the same so you will get a better visibility on how to control your one day strength seven day strength and 28 day strength so the idea is you can fix up these uh, seven uh, rows for seven day test and the moment the eighth row is filled up that means anyway your first row is vacant so the color of the eighth row will be shifted to the first row only at any point of time it will be like this and then you can cover it with blank because there is nothing here in this particular area so 
this will give an idea like for a seven day strength this is the maximum area which is being covered in the project uh, with respect to the storage of cubes and when you talk about 28 day strength this is the maximum area which is shown in the diagram below which is being uh, covered or used by the cubes uh, stored for curing purposes so by understanding the total area required uh, total surface area of the cubes required you can always find out the number of uh, uh, you can always find out the dimension of the curing tank and that's exactly what we have done in this uh, particular module now some of the preliminary conditions which we uh, have taken is we can work on uh, the number of uh, tanks to be decided we can give a figure it can be anything from 1 2 3 4 5 whatever numbers you want to have the more the number of tanks the lesser will be the dimension but uh, again the walls uh, the area of the walls will be increased or the volume of the walls will be increased and probably you will end up paying more in that construction of uh, curing tanks so the idea is if you have a restriction as far as the availability of the land is concerned probably you can go for uh, five or uh, six number of uh, curing tanks also at different locations so by increasing the number of curing tanks, the dimensions of uh, the curing tank changes, the length and width can be changed. So then uh, you can remove from 25 to 20, so that again 20 by 40 will be your ideal way. So if you have a number of uh, curing tanks as 7, you probably can go for a 20 by 40 curing tank and 7 number of tanks distributed at different locations, so that it will be easy for you to cure the cubes take out the cubes and touch the cubes thank you so to summarize this module we talked about the definition of uh, curing we talked about how to estimate the size of uh, the curing tank and the number of curing tanks required and uh, freezing a specific uh, one dimension of the curing tank depending upon the availability of the land and also it will give a rough estimate of uh, how many number of cube moles are required in the project in order to make sure that each and every pore is being uh, captured or each and every bore uh, each and every pore is being sampled uh, based on uh, the is 456 uh, requirements to cast the number of cubes which needs to be tested at uh, 28 days uh, compressive strength